What's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video taking a look at the first trailer we have for the second half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. So this one is going to premiere, I believe, April 14th, or basically just as The Walking Dead Season 11 Part 2 is wrapping up, we're going to get to see the second part for Fear the Walking Dead Season 7, and then I think after that, uh, the first half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 8 will likely premiere in the fall, as we have Tales of the Walking Dead this summer, and then we have The Walking Dead Originals kind of finish off with its Part 3 for Season 11, likely late summer, early fall, so this one will probably be Season 8 for Fear, most likely, um, you know, September, October, November, uh, December type of uh, air date. Oh man, so it is so awesome to get to see a new scene with Madison returning uh, for season seven, second half. Uh, it has been quite a while since we have seen uh, Madison in Walking Dead. Uh, season four's mid-season finale uh, was when uh, she was thought to have been killed off. And now we are finding out that no, in fact, she did survive the stadium. And we're going to get to see her back in the second half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. Now, I had thought that it wasn't actually going to be until Season 8 when we would get to see her return. Uh, but from the looks of this trailer, it looks like we're going to get to see it in this uh, second half of Season 7. So uh, we can see in this that it looks like... Um, she might be undergoing some kind of mind control or some kind of uh, reprogramming or something. Um, they're dead because you said you knew the way after we get the what's your name and we can see uh, the tattoos on the wrists with uh, Alicia and Nick's names. And then she says Madison and then the voice responds, not anymore. We will tell you who you're going to be from now on. So uh, I suppose a reinvention invented Madison, uh, possibly a different person. I'll have to take a look at the timelines to find out how long has it been since the part where they were at the stadium because in chronological real life time it's been what um, you know three basically uh, three years plus but we also had kind of the shutdowns so three seasons but um, because of the shutdowns and everything in between, what's it been like four years or something? Oh man, that's a long time. So uh, it looks to me like they're possibly setting this up to where when Madison does return here, she'll likely not even know who she is. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been given a different name, something like this. And the big question is who is she talking to on the other end? Who is doing this kind of reprogramming? Is this uh, the CRM? Has the CRM kind of captured her, something of the sort like this, and then are creating a, uh, a new persona for her after she's kind of being forced to kind of join with them. Is this a completely new group, which has nothing to do with the CRM or any group we've seen before? Um, this does feel very CRM-esque to me, and it kind of has some sort of MK Ultra mind control vibes for me uh, with kind of uh, changing the person or uh, conditioning them to be somebody different, to be somebody else. So either way, if she is given a new persona and she doesn't even know who she is later on, when we do see her return, could she return possibly even as a villain? And then maybe uh, Morgan, Leisha, and all the others have to kind of reteach her, reconvince her who she was before, and maybe eventually that will come out of her. But I would think it probably won't happen until she sees uh, Alicia, and then she may realize who she is from before. Uh, so aside from that, uh, this uh, trailer for Fear the Walking Dead Season 7, Second Half, just looks amazing. Uh, it's been posted to AMC's official YouTube Walking Dead channel. Uh, great to see them do a post. I think it's been like a month or two since they posted anything there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and 
so the upcoming episodes, episode 9 is called Follow Me, set for April 17th or maybe 14th if it airs a couple days early. I guess we'll have to see what happens with Premiere. And then episode 10 is called Morning Cloak, which is going to be directed by Lenny James, who plays Morgan, of course. So uh, this is really great stuff. Uh, we'll have to see how many episodes it is in that we get to see Madison, but we do know that we have somewhat of a war going on right now between Morgan and Alicia's group and Strand and the Tower. So we kind of have the question of Padre and uh, whether or not that ended up, you know, actually being real, whether or not that is an actual real place. And uh, even if it isn't, it sounds like they're going to make it real. They're going to make it something. Um, that is, if they're able to defeat Strand. So um, I've been really, really impressed with Fear the last couple of years since about season six started. Uh, I feel like it's really on par with the original Walking Dead TV series. And so anybody who hasn't kept up with Fear, uh, I think this is a great jumping on point for you to get caught back up with it. Uh, we'll have to see how many people are interested when we do the videos for it and reviews and everything. But um, if you stop watching Fear earlier because Madison, you know, wasn't there, was supposedly was killed off or something, this can give you a new reason to catch up and a new reason to check it out. And I, I'm really telling you guys, uh, watch season six if you're not. Uh, you can watch it on streaming. I think Amazon Video still has it. Amazon Prime still has it, so you can catch up that way and you can follow it each week with us if you're interested. Um, you can also get AMC Premiere on uh, Amazon Prime as well uh, in most countries. So if you if you don't have access to cable, whatever, you can get AMC Premiere you're there uh, sign up for it doesn't cost very much and you get to watch all the episodes a week early or for fear how many ever days early or a week early that's going to be we'll, we'll see when we get to that point but yeah so this is going to premiere after the walking dead season 11 part 2 finishes it looks great i'm excited to see what happens with uh, strand and uh, and the others leash morgan everybody uh, how this whole battle plays out uh, strand does look like he's becoming quite a fearsome adversary for anybody will we get to see a scene with uh, Madison in Strand. Uh, will it be the case that Strand will be killed off before Madison returns? Um, could they swerve us and do something the other way? Could Strand win? Is that possible too? Um, and then maybe meet Madison and then change his ways or something. Um, and who will be killed off in the mix. So I do remember we still have kind of the fallout with the yellowing uh, kind of stuff, which looks like it's going to be in here a little bit. But from the trailer, it doesn't look like it's going to be in absolutely all the time. So either way, um, really, really excited for the second part, second half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. Looks awesome. Leave your comments below. How do you guys feel about this? Maybe we can touch on a little bit MK Ultra programming this uh, this weekend, Sunday's live stream. Uh, we might be able to get into that a little bit. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually real, but it's just it's not exactly what you think what you think it is. We can get into explaining that a little bit more, how it works. It's just, um, you know, uh, kind of programming somebody based on pain to do something. And, and the more they don't do it, the more you push pain on them. That's basically it. That's, that's pretty much so they get the idea they have to <laughs> they have to do it. Otherwise, things don't go so well. So leave your comments below and uh, subscribe if you're new. Thumb up the video. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. As always, this is Trev. And I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.